Mr. Tolosa, um, you, sp you spoke about uh, simplification of uh, all the um, bureaucratic uh, papers you have to complete as a taxpayer. But I have to ask you something, and I think uh, that uh, uh, now uh, we are obliged, will be obliged to pay uh, contribution on, on health, social contribution on health, CASSE, on every uh, money we uh, earn from uh, the bank deposits, from uh, I don't know, stock exchange movements of money and everything else. And in my opinion, this is, uh, uh, this is also irrational because there are people which do not obtain enough uh, profit uh, from the money they, they have in banks or from the, you know, I don't know what other. So they will have to pay more on uh, uh, limit of CSSA, sa on the you know, contribution, has contribution than they earned, you know, from the movement of money first. And my other observation, and that this will complicate, uh, uh, in, essentially, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the time and the, the efforts of, of people, of, of taxpayers. And you, you know what I mean, I think. And at the end of the day, probably next year, we'll have to have a new amnesty in order to correct all the irrational situation that we see now that they, they may appear. So why, why we are doing this? And I, I don't know why you don't, uh, uh, in, because you have a dialogue with the Romanian authorities. And when they started to, to come with this idea, why don't you tell them it's, it's, uh, it's too difficult to, 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 to put it? It could be unfair to, other, to some people. I don't know. Definitely, uh, tax administration issue, uh, tax policy issues are are central uh, for 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 tax administration to be conducted in a proper way. Um, there is um, in this in the specific case of health contributions, social security contributions more generally, uh, we believe that uh, fairness indeed it's a, it's a critical consideration. So there is no reason why. Uh, Social security contributions should only be paid for those that decide to uh, make a living by working, as opposed to those that make a living with uh, investments or those that make a living with um, rents out of sort of uh, real estate property. So there should be uh, whatever your sort of revenue income is, everybody uh, should be paying. I this. So this is the this is the basic. I agree, but yes. but uh, uh, in the cases when somebody has uh, uh, already paid a contribution because he works somewhere, someplace, and he has to be attentive to collect all the information from this bank account and everything else, and mm. and pay more. Do you believe this is fair? My first question and my second question, which is very important, why don't you leave? Those people which do not have, uh, let's say, a wage, they are not uh, employees somewhere, uh, to go to the uh, private uh, health sector. So let's just say you are, can't receive but basic uh, urgency, like in the United States, uh, you know, medical services, and then you have to have a private uh, health. Uh, I think we do not, uh, by, pro by doing this, we do not uh, encourage the private system of uh, health insurances. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, so, so in terms of, I, I mean, we do think that uh, people need to report all their sources of income and uh, pay contributions on all the sources of, of income. Uh, again, to avoid the unfairness that somebody that is making sort of m most of the, its income from other sources that is not labor, it's work, uh, can escape paying less than those that sort of rely only on labor income uh, for, a, for a living. I agree there's lots of sort of implementation uh, details that are very important and it, there could be some cases like the ones we all mentioned that are very problematic, but that's in terms of the concrete details of the implementation. not as sort of the overall principle which we agree that the base should be as, as broad as uh, possible. Uh, in terms of private uh, sector health, I mean, I, I, I fully agree that there needs to be a focus on further develop sort of private sector health insurance, but I don't want to get into sort of health 
policy issues because it's a little bit outside of our uh, sort of topic of discussion today. But I agree that's an important uh, focus. What is your opinion on uh, uh, the prevalent ideology, not in Romania, but over, over the world, that the state is a, a bad administrator and the private is the best? In, what is the influence on the tax compliance? I'll, I'll, I'll answer you with, um, with numbers. Um, the corporate income tax in Romania accounts for only 2% of GDP. So um, out of this 2% of GDP, there's, uh, I would say, almost half uh, which is uh, contributed by uh, state-owned uh, enterprise. I mean, don't, don't quote me in the exact number, but it's a, it's a very significant amount. So, um, of course, I mean, this in part reflects the fact that the state still controls strategic sector, like in, in energy. But it also shows that the private sector is not doing a, 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 a fantastic uh, job when it, when it comes to uh, contribute uh, for its sort of profits, uh, to, for its profit taxes. And um, there's 41% uh, of firms in Romania that uh, report to make losses. Uh, so that doesn't seem, again, a fantastic performance from the private sector. Even, I mean, these 41% of firms seem to be making losses every single year, not just once, um, which I think shows that um, either all businessmen in, Ro I mean, many businessmen in Romania are doing a, a terrible job, which um, I tend to believe is not the case, but shows that uh, goes back to the issue of sort of strategic approach of where the compliance gaps are. And there may be, I mean, these numbers may reflect that there needs to be more effort and um, more resources allocated to try to understand why, uh, how is it possible that 41% of companies in Romania, of private companies, are declaring, declaring losses. Um, of course, these are not only issues to be addressed by the tax administration itself. It has to be sort of the wider uh, institutional ecosystem that takes a look at these really um, problematic numbers and, uh, and devise solutions. Uh, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you another example. Uh, the, the one third of the time of the tax administration officials for the large taxpayer unit is spent uh, attending uh, requests from the court of accounts, um, many of which are very, very small amounts. Uh, these efforts, um, distract the tax administration. While important, I mean, they distract the tax administration from the big picture of addressing the issue that half of, almost half of Romanian companies are not paying any profit taxes because uh, they are declaring losses when some of the businessmen appear to be doing quite well. So um, this is not the, the decision of the tax administration to ask the court of accounts to, um, to stop uh, incessant uh, requests for information for very small amounts of money. This has to come from a higher level, needs to be a strategic approach on, uh, on how to address this issue. Another problem is that in Romania, tax auditors are personally liable for uh, procedural uh, mistakes. So even uh, that creates an incentive for in every audit in Romania to go to the very last lay uh, to make sure that there's absolutely no mistakes. Otherwise, you as a person, as an individual, uh, can, get it, can get into trouble. This again, this focus on the details, on the small stuff, distracts uh, auditors from taking a look at sort of more complicated, deeper issues that, that are bringing huge uh, compliance problems, as some of these numbers suggest. How will you characterize the situation that the 
local companies play uh, registered 14 billion lei profit in 2014, and the foreign company registered losses of 2 billion lei. Uh, I, I, I have not. Um I mean, I, I, I have not come across such such information, so I'm not sure. Um, I mean, w what's what's the what's the exact source? But but the the fundamental. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, but we have the micro databases as well. I mean, the the fundamental focus should be to create a sort of level playing field for all domestic companies and all foreign companies. There shouldn't be any uh, difference. <laughs> Or how these companies are treated. And again, I mean, this um, this is why I, I mean, this is something I, I said previously. But this is why we take tax administration as such an important issue. Because if there is no level playing field for everybody in Romania, uh, there's no real capitalism yet after 25 years. Uh, and if we have this perception that only um, a few are the ones that are shouldering taxes, then the incentives um, for businessmen, the incentives even for sort of young people in Romania are to develop connections, are to engage in deals, are to study avoidance schemes, and are not on risk-taking, uh, entrepreneurialism, um, on, on innovation, on the very foundations of, of long-term growth. So this is a, an absolutely essential issue for the, for the future of, of, of Romania uh, that, uh, that I think needs to be better understood.